Over the years, LEGO has released just under 200 unique and different LEGO themes, with some that ended up being a massive instant success, such as Star Wars, Ninjago, City, Icons, etc. Some themes, however, failed almost instantly, and today we'll be exploring three of those themes and what went wrong. The first theme we'll be taking a look at is LEGO Ben 10. Ben 10 was a super popular TV show in 2010, however it quickly fizzled and the show only lasted 6 months. But before the show was cancelled, this collaboration between LEGO and Ben 10 seemed like an amazing idea, but when LEGO released the sets, they had a huge problem. They only released a total of 6 action figures that didn't even really resemble LEGO at all. These action figures looked super weird and didn't appeal to LEGO fans whatsoever. Especially with the Ben 10 show failing, these sets didn't ever really sell, making this theme fail almost instantly. The second theme we'll be taking a look at is Galador, which was a theme created back in the early 2000s, but things didn't quite go as planned. So what exactly went wrong? First off, LEGO Galador was a huge departure from what fans loved about LEGO. Instead of the classic building blocks that sparked creativity, Galador sets were made up of large pre-molded pieces that acted more like action figures than LEGO sets. You couldn't build much outside of what the set came with, and for LEGO fans, that was a deal breaker. Then there was the TV show. Galador was tied to a sci-fi series with the storyline that quite frankly confused a lot of people. While LEGO had experimented with storytelling before, the connection between the TV show and the toy line was weak. Fans didn't really get invested in the world of Galador. And speaking of the sets themselves, they were just uninspiring. Sure, they had interchangeable parts, but the designs weren't nearly as creative or flexible as what LEGO fans were used to. The limited customization meant you couldn't really build beyond the set's original design. However, possibly the biggest issue was that Galador pieces weren't even compatible with regular LEGO bricks. This was a huge miss, especially for the LEGO fanbase, which thrives on the ability to mix and match parts from different sets. Timing was another factor. Galador launched during a period when LEGO was struggling and competing against a crowded market of action figures. In the end, the sets didn't sell well and the TV show didn't help boost interest. It was an expensive experiment that left LEGO with unsold inventory and they ended up pulling the line after only a year. LEGO Galador wasn't just a failed product, it was a lesson for LEGO. A reminder that at its core, LEGO is about creativity, versatility, and imagination, things that Galador simply couldn't deliver. For the third theme, we'll be taking a look at LEGO Hidden Side, which was one of the company's most ambitious projects. Launched in 2019, it was marketed as a hybrid between physical LEGO sets and an augmented reality app. It seemed like the perfect way to bridge the gap between traditional play and digital experiences, but it didn't quite hit the mark. So why did LEGO Hidden Side fail? First, the concept itself was a bit of a double-edged sword. LEGO tried to combine the magic of building with the excitement of AR, but the two elements didn't always work together smoothly. The app required you to point your device at the set to unlock AR features, but in practice it felt like two separate experiences, one where you build and another where you play with your phone. The sets didn't offer enough incentive to continue using the AR app after the initial novelty wore off. Next, let's talk about the app. It had some technical issues, bugs, crashes, and inconsistent performance were common complaints. Plus, the AR features were fun for a while, but they didn't have much depth. There wasn't enough to keep kids coming back, and when you strip away the digital gimmick, the LEGO sets themselves were fairly ordinary. And while Hidden Side's spooky ghost hunting theme was interesting, it wasn't enough to capture a broad audience. It was kind of niche. Compare that to evergreen LEGO themes like City, Ninjago, or even LEGO Friends, which appeal to a much wider range of fans. Hidden Side struggled to find its place among them. Another factor? The timing. Hidden Side came out at a point when there were many AR and app-based toys competing for attention. Kids had tons of digital options, from mobile games to VR experiences, so Hidden Side's app didn't stand out enough in an already crowded market. Finally, there's the short lifespan. LEGO discontinued Hidden Side after just two years. The short run didn't give it time to build a loyal fan base or expand its world like other LEGO themes have done over the years. Ultimately, Hidden Side was a cool idea on paper, but in practice it just didn't connect. The attempt to mix physical LEGO building with digital play ended up feeling disjointed and fans didn't stick around long enough to make it a success. Thank you all so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and if you think there are some themes I missed, please put them in the comments.